So a number of uh, socialist party um, officials are here, and among them, the notable ones is uh, the socialist party deputy general secretary Antonio Mwanza, um, who was uh, who is leading the uh, party officials. And uh, we've just seen that the police are, are moving the party officials uh, further away from this particular police station. Mr. President, any idea why we've been summoned? I don't know. They should know. Do you know why you've been summoned, Dr. Fekin? They should know. Ask them. They are the ones who have called me. Any Ask these people you are here. In front of on your social but media. What do you make of the summons? It's part of the harassment. It's part of the harassment. So uh, this is uh, the vehicle of Dr. Fred Membe, who has uh, just reached the Ibex Hill Police Station, and uh, really uh, he uh, says he's someone is uh, part of the harassment uh, that he's been. Uh, experiencing they don't want you to cover me so you tell the zambian people that they want this to be a secret arrest that's what the zambia they have created today mr kainde used to come with the people to the police station when he was being arrested they want me to come alone what zambia are we trying to create what Zambia are you trying to create? Where I should come to the police station in secrecy? What are they trying to hide from the Zambian people? Is this the democracy they are talking about? They are kind of way? This is not the Zambia we fought for. This country is not going to be good for any of us if it's not good for all of us. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Oh, we yeah. They have blocked all entrances to this place to ensure that nobody comes here. When has a police station been a secret place? Are we trying to create a Gestapo where people can, can should be arrested in secrecy? After this interrogation over the case that I earlier alluded to, they would like to take him to Kawe so that he spends nights in Kawe or Serenje. So there are those two options and we are waiting, we are ready to escort him if uh, that is uh, implemented. Now, why would you get somebody into Kawe or Serenje? The person that you have interrogated here and uh, received from him a second statement over one issue. The answer is very simple. You want to make life as difficult as possible for that person. You want to exert high levels of cruelty to this individual. That's what this issue is all about. And we condemn it, we condemn it so severely because this is brutality, this is unacceptable in a democratic country. The police unfortunately have their hands tied. They are tied in the sense that these instructions are not coming from just the police command, these are coming from State House. Whatever happens to Freddie Member, all the difficulties that he's going through now, it's not just a police issue. It is HH at work. This is the HH Zambians voted for, and this is the HH that is destroying this country systematically and ensuring that all members of the opposition are made to suffer lamentably. Mm, uh, well, we have. So, what, what has happened is what you must have seen a lot happen to um, PF leaders, where the place of the suspected place of crime, the police there had no powers. The service headquarters that picked the leaders, locked them up, and in the night transported the leader to Kasama, Chinsali, Lukulu, or Solwezi. 
Why doesn't the police in those areas of jurisdictions issue the call out? The, the whole thing is, you see, where I come from, they say, Muli seka seka, mutulali lali. You see them, they are taking it like a play thing, eh? Mwabulo mwana mwabe ene mwamika mwoto la nukwari nkisarendi. Uwushku kaba accident u mwaka fwa. Chika miwi pila. Muka filo kuika la mwaya ndomo mwule ika la. Elo the way they speed inga wako senda. Kailu wali nsenda kwe? Tukasama. Ine chifungo no mbachi hawa kwa wati bedroom ya ndi. Seventeen times. But in Shiri, but what you have I was arrested, I was in prison. What did you say? We were in Nan. It was a Kaseka, a letter, a Ladila. One day, one day, I want to listen to Kulu, from one to look at some of a friend, Mulefo, but one of the Kuka accident to Manawa and Aka Fashkami Pila. The blood of whoever would be involved in an accident, God forbid, will be on your hands. Muleke. And you see, when you see that the call out is given in Lusaka by force headquarters, just not map politics. Because an officer in charge of any police station and the CIO have the powers to summon a uh, suspected uh, uh, you know, law uh, breaker to that particular police station. Why come and arrest him in Lusaka? You transport him wasting taxpayers' money to transport that person, giving police officers allowances to transport that person, oh, now she will be sent. Let, if I commit an offense at Mpatamato in Wanshi, let the officer in charge at Mpatamato send the call out. <coughs> if I don't go, that's when first court headquarters can say, but as Fred member refused to go to Selenji, the answer is no. Boy, <laughs> Otherwise, you will regret ever being president. Five years money for You are not the alpha and the omega. You can stop these things. If you are not behind all these issues, you can just call. It was police, the army, and the ZNS not to make a new line than my escort vehicles. No, 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 Even this, you can do it. But in that way, Pusha, no, the president is involved. He's not involved. You are the commander in chief of all armed forces, including the police. You are the one who appoints all of them. If you appoint them, you have the power to tell them what you are doing is not correct. Stop it. But because you are enjoying it. He's giving instructions. And let me speak to this thing. What happened with to former president in uh, Eastern Province, in Malambo? In an Adi Monasan, government in Gaya Ilepwa, each Maria Kokula Kana and Chomulem. Awe, they used to be not involved. That was a, 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 a stage D. Come on. Who can be so foolish to send a one from Lusaka, Ukayan Guela, Mkafaino Kunguma? The English say, he who knows that he knows not is a fool for five minutes. But he who does not know that he knows not and knows not that he knows not <laughs> is a fool forever. Yeah. <laughs> you can correct it. But there's no way you can work on it. So stop <coughs> accepting. <laughs> Fiance, when he should member must resign if he knows what is good for. Are you a politician? In fact, what happened? What politics? Yeah, what happened? Do you know in that? Malambo, honorable Chima, we have named before that organisation. We've named publicly the Minister of Water Affairs, Honorable Mike Imposha. We've named the provincial minister, Mr. Peel. We've named the district commissioner for Mambo. Maglas Banda, William Maglas Banda. And we've even named the party officials, you know, uh, Esau Zimba, who, who was organizing these times. So if the police are looking for information, you can see from the videos and you can identify those that were involved. They're just playing games. They were keen to harass the former president 
forget that he's a former president of this country, you harass him. And as you have seen, the IG has dismissed those as rumors committing another crime. <laughs> <laughs> we shall finish. Maybe coming back to the issue of uh, Dr. Membe, uh, you may be aware that on Thursday he's supposed to appear before the courts. Yeah. On another case, the one of libel, cyber uh, security, crime, and so forth. So he is a person that you are, uh, you want to incarcerate today. You want to lodge him in a vehicle, let him leave his home and get into Serenje or Kawa. And the same person you are going to persecute, or at least. You want him to appear before the courts on Thursday, meaning that actually you want this person to be out of home for days on end. The plan is very simple. Keep member in cells as much as possible so that he's not able, uh, able to articulate issues. He's not able to defend the suffering masses of this country. And when that happens, then you know that the government is failing. These are measures of desperation. A sane government with a proper judicial system would not take that path. And this path that the UK is taking is rotten, is cruel, and it's not good for this country. Thank you, well, thank you colleagues. Thank you for the description of what um, is happening.